What's this? Oh. <clears throat> Hello there. You care to be size for one of me coffins? Oh, I see. You, you're here for a specific manners. I see. Okay. Well, tell me, why are we here for then? If you're not here to be sized up for one of me coffins. Oh, I see. So, you're from the manor. I see. Well, looks like I don't have to pull up with this act then. So, tell me, why have you come to me from the Phantom Hive manor? Is there something you need? Because I am very busy. Needing something. Uh, if you come from the Phantom Hive Manor, then you must know of my existence, correct? Then you must know I am very tired of reading. Lots of things I read almost every single day. <laughs> All right, give him here. They seem like playing cards from an old game. Are you trying to pull a joke on me? Because frankly, I don't find this joke very funny. Hmm. So you say they're from... Different sites where murders and pillages come from. From every murder, there is a card. I see. Well, if you would excuse me, I would like to look at said cards for just a mere moment. And... Maybe get a better reading on them. But in the meantime, how are the Phantom Hives doing? Are they doing well? Oh, that's good. Oh, I only ask because, well, Let's just say, I didn't have a very good ending with the Phantom Hives. Yes, something happened quite a long bit ago, but it's from the past anyway. And now they want to call me, or call me of all people, to figure out some cards that were left on a murder. I'm very much of them. Well, like I said, I am very busy as of right now. So please, if you don't have any other business to do, I would like you to leave. I see. So there's more. Give it here. It looks like a porcelain egg. Shake it. There is no sound coming from it. It's plastic. It'd be opened easily. There was a magic seal on this. Not a very good one. What is this substance in, in it? That's very vile. That's a very vile substance. Sticky at that. Ugh. This, oh, this is repulsive. Where did you find this? Mm-hmm, I see. 
And who gave these to you? Ugh. Claude. Well, if it's his character, disgusting. Ugh. You said you wanted to sell this, right? I would have to do more tests to know what this nasty, repulsive sh stuff is. But how much do you think you want to sell this for? I don't think it's that valuable. But if there was a magic seal on it, I guess that's kind of valuable. So, I'll give it, um, 15 gold and 7 silver. How's that sound? Very fair price. It's a very fair price. You'll take the deal. Okay, that's good. Oh, I ended up with the money. Oh, you have more. Splendid. Just know what I need to do on my weekend. All right, give it to him. Oh dear. Oh wait. So you don't have anything to sell. You want to actually buy something? Do you want a coffin? Mm, exotic trade. Okay. Well, give me a moment. Over here we have some cloth. Coming from an island far away. It's very, very soft cloth. Like the most comfortable clothing you'd ever have. 50. No, not silver. 50 platinum. You flipping imbecile. 50 gold. Not in your price range. <clears throat> Figured. No one wants to buy the fleece. Um, I have human remains. Not interested. Okay. Well, let me pick this up real quick. This right here. I have to be careful with this. It's unstable. Excuse the noise. Ah, there we go. Well, you see, this is made out of a, some type of metal material. It appears to be almost indestructible by any kind of blade. Trust me, I've tried. Selling this for 200 gold. Bring it to a blacksmith, I don't know. Make a weapon and armor out of it. I'm putting it down. I have too much of this, I have too much of this material. And I need to sell it. Get off me, tweezers. Get off! I need to sell it. Otherwise, I'm gonna have an abundance of this stuff without being sold. So, do we have a deal on most of the stuff I have showed you tonight? Splendid. Splendid. All right. So, please hand me over the money and we can be on our ways. Right, the cards. I forgot about that. I thought I could get away with it. A very good memory. <laughs> Let's see here. Well, this card is very easy. This was a murder. This was a pillaging in a village not that far away from here, so look out for that. This card, I can't really read yet. I 
Well, this card is quite repulsing. And I'm not sure if I really want to say that out loud. It might make myself gag. Me just reading that makes me sick to my stomach. But this card. This card. It's actually from a phantom hive. Make haste of this card. Show it to that butler. I'm pretty sure I'd be very much happy to see it. <laughs> oh, this card. I haven't seen this in many a few years. Many, many years. Hmm. How much you say this card you, you think might be worth? Mm, three silver? Seven bronze? 50,000 gold. <laughs> Actually, this card doesn't have a price. It's from a demon. Another world. Another dimension. There is no price on this card. It's from that butler. He must have forgot it somewhere. Doing some kind of devious act. And then he ran away. Like the little fox he is. Or the bloodhound, I should say. Nasty little creature, isn't he? <laughs> Take that card with you. Along with the stuff you have bought. I will look more into that egg you sold me. That has a magic seal. Which I can easily take off. There's a nasty little substance inside. That Claude gave you. Are you sure this isn't poisonous? Ugh. Repulsive. It makes a ghastly noise. Ugh. Do you hear that? What? Ugh. It's surprising it doesn't melt my tweezers. Disgusting. Well. I guess I'll leave that then. This over here by the middle. So, I guess I'm bidding a farewell to you. And please do come back. I would love to fit you for one of my coffins. Mm -hmm.